Hello everybody, this is the GoTo family. Right now we are in Agios Nikolaos on the island of Crete in Greece, guys. Now this video is gonna be all about the top things that you can do when you're in Agios Nikolaos, which is uh, right behind me, right over there. You can see it in the distance. Some of the top things you can do in Agios Nikolaos or in the surrounding areas because guys there's just so much to do and see in this region of Crete. So all right guys let's get into it. Here we go we're gonna roll the footage. First up is the beautiful Alunda. This majestic village is located just 15 minutes away from Agios Nikolaos and is a popular vacation spot in its own right. There's plenty to do here with its beach, little shops and tavernas that overlook the bay. One of our favorite things to do is to take a stroll through the port and see all the different types of colorful fishing boats that are characteristic to Greece and Crete. You must try one of the many tavernas that dot the port. We ate at Lotus Eaters Mediterranean restaurant. They have a beautiful terrace that overlooks the Mediterranean and have live traditional Greek music during certain times of the day. <laughs> We ordered grilled octopus that was charred perfectly, followed by lamb and a spicy red stew. Mmm. We enjoyed everything and recommend visiting here. Not too far from Alunda is Pinalonga, another must visit place while staying in Agios Nikolaos. Small boats leave daily from Alunda port and Plaka to the small island which lies across the Gulf of Alunda. The island served as a military stronghold during Venetian and later Ottoman rule and a medieval citadel stands a testament to that chapter in the island's history. In 1904, the islet was transformed into a leper colony where by 1913, after Crete became part of Greece, anyone afflicted with a disease was sent there. At its peak, the colony comprised nearly 400 inhabitants. It's hard to imagine that the last leper left in 1957. We also recommend hiring a private boat cruise. There's something to be said about just sitting back and letting all the cares of the world fade away as you cruise under the Mediterranean sun. It can be costly, but in our opinion, definitely worth the price. The captain of the boat can plan your day and one of the many snorkeling areas in the region, or you can request to visit areas that interest you. So our first stop is actually, this is Caledon Island, so it's a separate island from Crete. And right here, this is the beach of Skistra. Now this is not a really super duper popular spot. It's a bit of a hidden gem. And you can see the crystal clear waters here. Beautiful place to go for a nice swim, uh, to go snorkeling as well. This place used to actually be inhabited, but uh, not so much anymore. You can get electricity on this island. Of course, it's separate from Crete, uh, so that's probably a big reason. But you can see some abandoned houses up in the hills up above. But we're gonna go in for a nice little dip here. We booked with boattripalunda.gr and we thought that they provided a great tour of the area at an economical price. We really enjoyed the homemade Greek dishes they made for our whole family while we were cruising with them. The owners were also great with kids and provided lots of help. 
Next up on our list is the Cretan Olive Oil Farm. Located just outside of Agios Nikolaos, this farm gives guests the opportunity to learn about local Cretan products, especially olive oil and olives in general. They offer guided experiences of the farms, oil production, pottery classes, cooking classes, cheese making, and much more. Now, in the cheese making experience, you meet a local shepherd and you learn about Cretan cheeses. It's a hands-on experience and you even learn how to milk the goats. Yes, you can milk the goats. And you can also help in the production of two types of local cheeses. One is Malacca and the other is Mizitra, which uh, is ubiquitous on the island of Crete. Now, in the olive oil production experience, you learn about the traditional olive oil production process. First, you weigh the olives that you will need and you place them on the olive mill. Then you start pushing the mill around so that the stones crush the olives. Afterwards, you collect the crushed olives, you put them in big stacks and you transfer them into the olive press. Finally, the olive paste is pressed into oil by manually pulling and pushing the press. This is a pretty difficult process and uh, we are glad that uh, we don't have to do that to get our olive oil anymore, but nonetheless, a very fun and uh, educational experience. Now, one of the things that you must do when you're in the area of Agios Nikolaos is you must come to one of the many, many beautiful beaches in the area. There are so many uh, crazy beautiful beaches in the area, but you must definitely uh, pick a day and come to uh, to a beach and just enjoy a nice lazy beach day. Right now we're at this beach called Almiras, uh, but there is a ton of beaches in the area, just a few uh, you know meters uh, away from here. There's another beach called Amudara, which is really really popular. water is actually very shallow and it's very shallow for very long so the kids actually can go really really far which is really nice and then of course you have uh, it's like almost like a trampoline in the middle of the beach right here so that's really really cool but it's just really nice and also uh, a lot of times in Greece you're gonna get these big uh, pebbles uh, on, on your beach uh, but right here it's nice and sandy what would a guide of Agios Nikolaos be without a food recommendation in this beautiful and majestic city? One place not to be missed is Gioma. Not only does this restaurant have one of the best views in the city, absolutely spectacular by the way, overlooking the lake, the food is equally as good. We've ate here a bunch of times actually and really enjoyed all of the dishes on the menu. Be sure to definitely try the fish, the croquettes, octopus, and euros. Beware, it's extremely popular and reservations are a must for dinner. Finally, a nice day trip from Agios Nikolaos is the small village of Krista. This picturesque town is nice to stroll through and we enjoyed lunch at a local taverna right on the main road. We had the Greek salad, stuffed zucchini flowers, which we love, and pita souvlakis. Everything was delicious here. After lunch, Take time to browse the small shops of the town. One not to be missed shop is the Fused Glass Workshop. All the glass items are made in the shop and the nicest we found in all of Crete. Other shops around offer souvenirs and traditional Cretan products like olive oil. Before heading back to Agios Nikolaos, take a short drive to the Krista Ruins. And this is just about two kilometers away from Kreitza, so once you go to Kreitza, you also come here and check this out. Of course, you got to come here before 3 or 3.30. Sadly, I did not know that. So uh, here's the footage, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> That's it for this guide of things to do around Agios Nikolaos. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell for the notifications to get updated on when we post new vlogs. If you guys have any questions about any of these places that we mentioned in this video, please don't hesitate to uh, write us an email since uh, our comments are blocked off. 
Please subscribe, guys, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.